accumulated stress, accumulated things in our life. What happens is things happen in our life, and if we don't let them go, they stay with us. And they stay with us, and they stay with us, and they stay with us, and they stay with us. So what happens is, the world, we are, the world is teaching you exactly what you're holding. So if something sets you off in another person, it's because you're holding that same thing inside. You understand? Whatever I'm holding inside, I'm just set off by other people. People say, the world is stressed. The world is making me stressed. No, I'm stressed inside. The world is just triggering me. <laughs> There's a big difference. The, this person is not stressful. I'm stressed. And this person is just triggering me. How I feel. See, it's, a, it's an unbelievable concept. You know why it's so important about this concept? Because you, you don't become a victim. You recognize it's, it's you're holding the things in. Because we know when we're not holding things in, we don't get triggered the same way. But when we're holding accumulation of things, what happens? We get just triggered by people, and we say, they made me angry. So it's not possible, again, it's not possible to holding so much, so much things and building that resentment and building all those situations in our lives and, and never letting go. You know, a person that, you know, got, unfortunately, his partner, uh, something happened with his partner, or he feels resentment towards his creator. That resentment, if that's not let go, and, you're, and you let it go, then all of a sudden, you're going to get triggered, and you're going to get angry very easily. You know, a guy, you know, a guy's getting angry at a, a guy to put the wrong mocha venti, put a, a cappuccino instead of a venti, a latte, I don't know what the heck the name is. You know, if you're, if you're getting knocked out by a, by a venti cappuccino at 9.30 in the morning, you, you, you need to be, you need to, you need a lot of his bodedut. It's teaching us, if I'm getting, what it's teaching me in my life, is how quickly I'm getting, how quickly I'm getting triggered in anger, anger, it's teaching me how much work I need to do. You understand? The guy that gets triggered very easily, it's, that guy has a lot of built up, built up reservoir. Built up. Come to my detox one day and you'll see what I'm talking about. If the muffins are not the right chocolate chip, vanilla, this, one, it doesn't take much. It doesn't take much. The perspective is very low when you're holding that much pressure. And you'll just see pressure cookers go off. Because what happens now, we have to feel. Before, we didn't have to feel. Now we have to feel. And what do you think I'm going to do when I have to feel now? Boom. It's there. That energy is there. All it takes is a couple things to go. A little dozen money things. Coca-Cola. Not crazy things that you figure. Because people are in a lot of pain. And they don't, they don't let go. This is exactly what we're supposed to do every single morning. Is have, like we say all the time, you need a ritual to let go. Let go. Let go. Somebody insulted you. Let it go. This happened, let it go, let it go. But the more we carry these things, the more we don't let go, the easier we become triggered in anger. The less opportunities come to us. You understand? If you have a system, if you have a system I, we, we recommended Wim Hof breathing, we recommended his Dude, we recommended exercise. You need, you need something to take that energy out. It's too much energy today not to have, it, not to have somewhere to... To, to relief. You need relief, obviously. Somewhere that energy has to, if not, it's going to be built up, and then boom, it's just going to get, it's going to get thrown off of somebody.